front cap here. Now we'll be able to see our catches on either side that are holding the pins in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift up the catch. That way I can release the pin. So you remove your, your green front lock and uh, I'll kind of show you on this one since this is such a common one. So I kind of get under it here, just pop that up, we'll remove it all the way. And you can actually slide down. We do have videos on this one also. This screwdriver is a little big, so I'm not going to actually remove them, but you'll slide down, lift up the catch, and pull that wire right out. Same deal as other ones. Do the seals. We always try to go with a seal that's a little bit thicker, so that way it has a tight fit, it won't let water through there. And so we just got to remove it. There's a catch on each side. So what we'll do, use a screwdriver, pop that up. Other side, just lift it up a little bit. Sometimes it may. There we go. Whenever you have something that's a different color than the main body of the connector, it's usually a secondary lock, is remove it, pull it to the side. And so we can do that with a screwdriver. We'll just take our screwdriver, get right in between those two pieces, pull that out. All right, so once we've got the uh, secondary catch moved over, all we have to do is uh, on these pins, push down the catch because it's actually built into the pin. So we'll push it down at the same time, then we'll pull the wire out. So I'll push that catch down just a little bit, and then we'll pull the wire out, just like that. So here we'll take the tool, get it installed, push it all the way down until it stops. Then from there, you should be able to pull the pin right out because it's pushed those releases down. So let's do the larger pins, which are the easiest ones to do here. Take your tool that's got the larger forks on it, just push it all the way down until it stops. Once you feel it stop, that pin should just pull right out. All right, so what we're gonna do here is a repin, D-pin repin of a, one of our connectors. This is part number Y11A1. Uh, it's gonna be a commonly used one for your uh, Toyota Lexus horns and uh, some Subaru horns. Um, so what we'll do today first, we've got the secondary lock here we've got to remove, and then the first actual catch that holds this pin in is down inside of the connector. So first thing we'll do, get a screwdriver, kind of pull up on this secondary lock, and uh, they're usually a little bit stiff, but uh, if you just kind of work it out, you can pop it right out of there. And um, I do have the smaller screwdriver I'll use on a lot of these, but this one, a little bit bigger, maybe 1.4, 1.6 comes in handy. And uh, what you're gonna do, figure out when you look down at the connector and you'll see where the catch is. And I know right now it's at the top of the connector where I've got it sitting. So I'm gonna get down in there and I've gotta just pull up on that catch some to get it up. And once I feel that I've got it up, then I can start sliding that pin out. 